Hello, my friend. Hope you're having an awesome, wonderful day. Um, you know, I just got in from taking out the garbage. Tomorrow's our trash day. So I took the garbage out, and it made me think about something that happened. Oh, it's been a couple weeks now ago. I was driving down the street. It was also a trash day, like tomorrow's going to be. And I saw a, a neighbor who had a box from a television they had bought. And I kid you not, the box for that TV was bigger than their front door. It was bigger than their front door. And <laughs> the first thing I thought about, hey Angie, the first thing I thought about was, good for them. That's pretty awesome. And then I was driving off and I thought about it a little bit. And I wouldn't have always felt that way. You know, there's a time when I used to say, you know, it wouldn't necessarily have been envy, but it would have been this kind of condescending thought in my head that, man, they're, what, they're getting a big old TV. They should be out there doing something. A TV is nothing but an income uh, uh, income reducer. And, you know, all this anti-TV stuff. But, you know, I didn't know. They may have a big screen TV so that they can watch Brian Tracy and Jim Rohn and Grant Cardone videos, and they want to be able to see him and have him look almost life-size. I don't know, and you don't know. The key is, I was just talking yesterday about being a hater. Make sure, in your own mind, you're not being a hater. You know, the one thing that can, and it's a simple thing to have happen that can keep you away from success, is being a hater of what someone else has achieved or done. You know, you're never going to attract in your life those things that you don't respect, those things you don't like, those things that you look down on. So when you see someone doing this, and we got, you know, there's a little exercise you can do. When you see a car that may be your dream car, instead of looking at that car and saying, oh, I wonder if they did get that, it's probably drug money or whatever. Instead of thinking that anything crazy like that, hey, Ashley, ask just or say to yourself, I can afford that. Or good for you. Give them a thumbs up when you drive past them because they got your dream car. And know that that is going to help bring success to you. If your attitude is one of, you know, hating on them or, or looking down on the fact that they've gotten it and thinking that they've got it through some ill-gotten way, you're never going to attract that in your own life. So it's something, you know, to check. When I see the, uh, someone rocking and rolling now, it's a different attitude than I had when I was younger. Good for them. And guess what? When you see someone with that big screen TV, guess what? That's not the last one they made. You can get yours too. And it doesn't have to be something material, but I think you see the exercise here. And you see the car. Guess what? That wasn't the last one they made. You can get one too. So if you will train your brain to support and applaud people in their success, I believe it's going to result in attracting your success to you. So that's my thought for the day. As always, if you inbox me, I'm going to send you the top five books you should be reading right now so you can attract that success in your life. Get those books and study them. Right now, there's a lot of reasons out there where you might want to just stay at home. There's stuff that's being canceled, and you're going to have maybe more time in your hands from a recreational standpoint than you're usually accustomed to. Well, use that time to grow. Use that time to become the best version of you. Use that time to give yourself an edge. Inbox me. I'll see you in those top five books. Have a blessed day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.